I know a lot of you guys who are on self-improvement or who are starting on self-improvement have a lot of habits for no reason. You guys think it's really nice to have these 10 plus habits into your daily routine because it makes you feel productive, but in reality, you're wasting so much time. Like, what do you truly want in your life? I know you want to be married in the future. I know you want to have a lot of money, right? And like, I know you want to live your dream life. Because if you're on self-improvement, you're working for a better future, right? You're working to become the better version of you, the best version of yourself, okay? But the reality is, like, why do you have so many stupid habits in your routine? Let's be completely honest here. So recently, what I've learned is that I need to start subtracting habits. I need to start subtracting unnecessary things that don't really add value into my life. For example, having 10 plus habits is not going to help you out in the long run, right? But if you have five habits, four habits, for example, weightlifting, journaling, meditation, and reading, those are four important habits that you can implement that will move the needle in your life because you're working on your mental health, you're learning, on top of that, you're working on your physique, your mind, your mind, body, and soul. So there's a key lesson here that you have to take away from this. If you have X amount of habits, for example, seven plus habits, Here's a little exercise you could do. Rank one to seven of the top priorities you need in your life right now, okay? That you wanna work on. For example, one is being the top priority, seven is being the least, uh, least priority that you need to work on. But seven priorities that you would love to work on in this season of your life. For example, if you wanna build a better physique, that should be your number one priority. If you want to make X amount of money, that should be your number one priority, right? Whatever the case is, for example, it could be your finances, it could be your personal brand afterwards, it could be your self-improvement journey. Then the next priority could be you finishing school if you're in school, because personally I'm in school and I know that it's one of my priorities. It's the least priority because of course I'm gonna finish school, but at the same time, I know for a fact that I could live without going to a nine to five in the future, right? And I'm of course, planning on getting a nine to five but it's, it's not something that i really want in the future right for example the next 10 years i don't see myself in it, into a nine to five i just need to focus on building up my whole personal brand a business and really save up in the next upcoming years because i have so many ideas that i definitely want to execute on and it all depends on how much i'm willing to delay gratification how much i'm willing to practice that so many people want instant pleasures these days. So many people want to indulge in that. But the reality is you have to ask yourself, what do you want in the next 10 years? What do you want in the next goddamn 10 years? Do you want to look like a loser? Or do you want to feel like you're fucking successful as fuck? And apologies for swearing, but let's be honest here. Like if you want to become successful, you need to put in the work. Don't get me wrong. You can enjoy your time here and there, but focus on yourself improve the relationships you have, keep networking, improve the, improve your mind, improve your body, improve your soul. Just keep grinding as much as you can. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.